let's look at this question. The following figure shows a family tree in which AB, CF, DG, EH are couples. The couple AB has three sons. A is a male. Vertical line lead to children of the couples. The following information is available how the family shared the candies among themselves. So AB is a couple within which A is male, B is female. Within CF, who is the child, we don't know. Within DG, who is the child, we don't know. Within EH, who is the child, we don't know. The three sons that they have, we don't know who the sons are. But we know there is a son, there is a daughter. Okay. And then CF have three children, IJK. DG has one child, L. And EH have two children, MN. In the beginning, none of the family members had any candy with him or her except A. So A had all the candies in the beginning. Each male gives half of the candies he received to his wife and half of the remaining candies to his children. So he gives 50% of the candies to the wife and uh, half of the remaining candies. So half of half, one fourth to the children, then he gets the rest. So if A had 100 candies, let's say if A had 100 candies, he would give 50 to B, 25 to the three children, 25 to the three children, and uh, how that 25 gets distributed, I don't know. But 25, he eats himself. The himself part, I'm writing in brackets. Whatever is consumed, we will write in brackets. Okay. Each female eats one third of the total candies received and gives the rest of her candies to her children. So B, when she has received 50 candies, she will eat 16.66 herself. And 33.33, she will give off to the children. So the number of candies that have percolated to the second layer are 25 plus 33.33 candies. These many candies have come over here. I know candies can't be in decimals, but in order to arrive at a good number, we'll multiply it by whatever is needed at a later point of time. Okay. It is observed that candies got distributed among the children, distributed among the children for each set of parents, equally distributed. Okay. So now, what is the total number of candies here? 58.33. Now that I'm getting it in decimals, I don't like it. What I will do is, I will write it this way. 50 by 3 candies will be eaten by B. And how many candies will be sent over to the next generation? 25 plus 100 by 3. Or 175 by 3 candies are sent over to the next generation. Now, this 175 by 3 gets distributed among the three male children that they have because they have three sons, male children. Each person will receive 175 by 9 or let me not write it there. Let me write it here in a separate case. Male, female. This is for the second generation. Every male has 175 by 9 candies. Every male has 175 by 9 candies. Okay. Each member gets integral number of candies and at least one candy each. Okay. They have gone ahead and specified that as well. And a married female gets candies from her husband only. A married female gets a candy from her husband only. So she will receive half the candies. So she will receive 175. Okay. This bracket is not appropriate. This is the number of candies received by the male. Number of candies received by the female is 175 by 18. She ends up eating one third of this. So 175 is not divisible by 3. He ends up eating 175 by 36. These many candies, the female at the second level will eat. And the number of candies eaten by the person, the male, half is given away. So 175 by 18 is left. So he will eat 175 by 36 candies himself. What they will pass on to the third generation, what they will pass on to the third generation, CF, the number of candies they will pass on will be how much? Um, 175 by 36 plus 350 by 36. By 36. These many candies will be passed on to the third generation. So I, J, K have received these many candies. L has received these many candies. M and N have received these many candies. So I, J, K, if they have received these many candies, let me add it up. How much do I get? 350 plus 145, 25. 
by 36. Wonderful. L has received 525 by 36. I can write straight away. And M and N have received half of this. So 525 by 72 and 525 by 72. These people, I have to divide this by 3. So into 1 by 3, 525, one third of that is 175. So 175 by 36, 175 by 36 and 175 by 36. This is the number of candies received by the children. I, J, K have received 175 by 36, 175 by 36 and 175 by 36. And... Uh, 525 by 36 is received by L, 525 by 72 is received by M, 525 by 72 is received by M. The male and female in the second generation would have received. Uh, 175 by 9 would have been received by the male, 175 by 18 would have been received by the female. They would consume 175 by 36. How is this working out? Okay. Okay. This is not great. It seems like there is some mathematical error. Let me do the maths all over again. It doesn't look like this is right. So 25 came over and 100 by 3 came over, 175 by 3. So each group got 175 by 9. Cool. Half of it goes here. Half remains 175 by 30. 18 remains. 175 by 18 ka half he eats and half he passes on. So he passes on 175 by 36. If C is the male, let's say if C is the male, he will eat 175 by 36 and pass on 175 by 36. Okay. Now, the female, the female, she has 175 by 18 received. So she will eat one third of this. Okay, this is the error. One third of this, she, if she eats, she will eat 175 by 54. And what she will pass on will be 350 by 54. This much she will pass on to the kids. So 350 by 54. We will meet at 108. We will meet at 108, 36 and 54. So 108. And this will get multiplied by 3. So 525. This will get multiplied by 2. So 700. So we get how much? 1225 by 108. Okay. So 1225 by 108 is passed on to each of the three families of kids. L, because he's the only child, he will receive 1225 by 30, uh, by 108. He will receive this much. I, because he is one of the three kids, they will receive 1225 by one third of one third of this fraction. So 3 into 108 is 324. 1225 by 324. 1225 by 324. And finally, M and N, how much will they receive? How much will they receive? Um, half of this. So 1225 by 1225 by 216 and 1225 by 216. So the amount of candies with the children in the third generation is uniquely known or at least the minimum case is known. For the second generation, the number of candies eaten by the male is 175 by 36. For the female, it is 175 by 54. Okay. We have all the rough numbers available with us. Let us get to individual questions. If J receives four candies, if J has four candies, then what is the ratio of candies received by K, L, and N? Okay. Now, I know J and K will receive the identical number of candies. So, K has received four candies. Now, the ratio of candies received by J and L is uh, 1 is to 3. 
1 is to 3. So L will have 3 times the number of candies that J has. So 12. How we are arriving at that uh, ratio is 1 to 2, 5 by 324. Whole thing divided by 1 to 2, 5 by 108. So 1 to 2, 5, 1 to 2, 5 cancelled. This 108 goes to the top. I get 108 by 3 to 4. I get 1 by 3. Another way, you can reach this result. I've done the maths, but you did not really need maths for this. See, the number of candies that C and F will pass on to their kids and the number of candies that D and G will pass on to their kids are going to be identical. They have received the same number of candies and they are passing on the same number of candies. It is just that C and F have three children, so it gets divided three times. And D and G have only one child, so he gets the entire lot. So the ratio of candies received by I, J, K and L is 1 is to 3. In the same way, if you can see it, L receives all the candies. M and N have to divide it into half. So the ratio of candies received by M and N has to be, sorry, the ratio of candies received by L to M and N is going to be 2 is to 1 or the ratio. The final ratio, if he gets, J gets 4, then L will get 12 and M and N will get 6 and 6. And therefore, the final ratio we end up with is 2 is to 6 is to 3. This is it. No problem at all. Next. C receives 108 candies. And E is not the husband of H. Find the number of candies eaten by E. Okay. Now, there are two ways of looking at this. See, here in E and H, we know E is the wife. E is the wife. According to this question, E is the wife. Now, for C, is C the wife or is C the husband? If C is the wife, if C is the wife, if C received 108, E will also receive 108. In which case, E will consume 108 by 3 or 36 candies. So, this is a possibility. But the other case is, if C is the husband, if C is the husband and he receives 108 candies, he will pass on half to his wife. F, he will pass on 54 to the wife, who will consume one third of it. And if F, a wife in the second generation, eats 18 candies, another possibility is E, who is also a wife in the second generation, can end up eating 18 candies. So depending upon whether C is the husband or the wife, we can get two answers. Either E eats 18 candies or E eats 36 candies. And therefore, the answer to the second question in the set is option D. Okay. Moving on. Number of candies received by L is not necessarily a multiple of which of the following. Okay. If the number of candies received by L is not necessarily a multiple of which of the following. Simple thing. Can you see the number of candies received by K, L, and N? K, L, N, N. Remember, L, if X candies were received by I, J, and K, they will receive identical number of candies. The number of candies received by L will be 3X. Whatever I, J, K received cumulatively, that is the number of candies that L would receive. Similarly, if the number of candies received by M, N, N is Y, and Y, the number of candies received by L would be 2Y. The number of candies received by L has to be a multiple of 3, has to be a multiple of 2, and by extension also has to be a multiple of 6. What is it not necessarily a multiple of? It is not necessarily a multiple of 4. You can also perhaps backward track this from this ratio itself. 2 is to 6 is to 3. So this number, this number is a multiple of 6. So it is a multiple of 2, it is a multiple of 3, it is a multiple of 6. It is not necessarily a multiple of 4. Okay. Last. If the number of candies received by D is greater than the number of candies received by G. Pay attention. Number of candies received by D is greater than the number of candies received by G. Who receives more candies? In the second generation between the male and the female, the male receives more candies, the female receives lesser number of candies. So if the number of candies received by D is greater than the number of candies received by G. So D is the husband, G is the wife. Then how is G related to it? G is the daughter-in-law of A because D is the son. They had three sons. So G is the daughter-in-law of A. And that is the entirety of this set. If you pay attention, even if you were to remove all these calculational parts, even if you were to remove all these calculational parts, you would still be able to arrive at your answer. You can go back to whatever you want to do. 
in the set, see the number of candies transferred by CF to their kids, by DG to their kids and EH to their kids, you'll get the same answers. You don't really need those fractions and numbers, but uh, for the sake of representation, I've gone ahead and done that in the beginning. And uh, if in case the question did ask me about precise count of candies or what is the minimum number of candies that need to be distributed, then I can do that calculation also because I have all that working ready with me. So the answers are known. That will be the end of this set. Mm -hmm.